The Disney prop department and set dressers made everything look just like it did the last night this hotel was open. There are real letters in the mailboxes. Hmm. Did you know that in 1939, a stamp was only two cents? Hey, it really rings. <laughs> you rang, sir. Uh, I, I was just playing with the bell. Sorry. <clears throat> that couldn't be the same bellman that... No. <laughs> ah, well, hey, look at this. This is the same pen the guests use to sign in. Hmm, wonder what's in here. This place is really starting to spook me. Part of the challenge of working on the interior of the Tower of Terror was not only creating a time period, but capturing it a short while after it had been built and frozen in a moment in time as everyone vanished. So throughout the lobby, we have little stories that can be seen and are told through a matter of props and set dressings of what people were doing at that moment. In researching the time period, we had to really uncover what was popular at the time and what people likely would have been doing in that hotel when it finally shut down. Right here. See how it's set up? What we're trying to capture in this scene is a Mahjong game in progress, which was very popular at the time. And we have a coffee set up. We have a set of flowers that was delivered with it that has long been dead. All of the lighting fixtures in the Tower of Terror that were provided for us by Character Lighting were acquired from a building of similar size, age, and style as our hotel here. The 1920s pattern on the tapestry was our guide for the rest of the colors in the room. At the end of the sofa, we had a visitor in from France with his French-English translation book um, for some of the harder words in his new American newspaper. There was a lot of activity that last day in 1939. We had a very wealthy person checking in at the time with a very swank set of luggage. He has just signed in the registration book and is now leaving a note at the registration desk telling of a friend arriving later and to please hold their room. Another guest had just checked in and has obviously come in from a much colder climate. He's taken off his overcoat and hat. He's already received his key and his paper in the hotel, has filled out his Hollywood postcards to send off to others out of town. In this scene, we've created the following story. It's a couple having their last bottle of champagne in the tower before the incident. You can see where she was sitting down. She has laid down her purse and gloves and neatly folded her napkin and although her champagne glass is dry she still has lipstick on her glass and where he was sitting he just sort of wrinkled his napkin and tossed it on the table